G'day folks, Wayne from Land and Bay Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. This video is my two favorite retrieves for flathead when fishing with soft plastics. That's what this video is about. So if you want to improve your catch, stick around and I'll talk to you about how I retrieve when I'm chasing the almighty flathead. Before we get into that, just a little bit of housekeeping. Make sure if you've got any questions at all, you leave me a comment down below. I will get back to you. Just leave your questions in the comments field. If you get anything out of this video, give me a big thumbs up. That helps my channel. And if you haven't already, check out my second channel, 4x4 Track Oz, Overlanding Australia. Let's get into the video. Okay, my main two retrieves are Twitch Twitch Pause and Hop Hop. Both of these will work. Both of these have caught me countless flathead. So make sure you check out the end of this video with some of the footage. I'll, I'll put in a little bonus section at the end. This video is only gonna go, it's a quick video, probably only three or four minutes. And then at the end of the video, I'll put in another four or five minutes of the Twitch Twitch pause retrieve and the hop hop pause retrieve catching flathead. So check out that at the end of the video. The two actions I use, one pulls it up off the bottom and the other one pulls it along the bottom. Depending on the type of bottom is which one I use. Generally speaking, one will work on a day and the other won't. And I'll try both until I find out or work out which one's working. Also, if I'm in a, a, a snaggy, horrible area, I'll use the hop hop way more than I'll use the twitch twitch because the hop hop gets it off the snag and away from the snag and allows it to come up and down. So the hop hop retrieve, we'll start with that one. The hop hop retrieve, you cast out, you've got quarter ounce jig head or, or heavier, maybe given the estuary systems probably two to three meters deep. Generally speaking, this time of year, I, I'm fishing deeper water for flathead. Throw it out and it'll get to the bottom. Once it gets to the bottom, makes that little puff of sand. Then I hop, hop, two flicks up, just like this in the video. And it lifts itself off the bottom, hopefully two thirds of the water column, and then gently drifts back down and pops onto the sand again, causing that little vibration, little puff. So throw out, I'll make sure all the slack's taken up. So because we're drifting over the bait, I just keep winding and it's most likely staying, if not really still, and dead still on the bottom. And when I know for sure it's on the bottom, I go hop, hop, and that's it. And let it get back to the bottom. And, uh, and hopefully attracts whatever fish are in the local area. The hop hop, I'll use all the way back to the boat, right back to literally wherever you're standing, whether it's on the boat, uh, on the bank or on, in a boat, you wanna keep doing it right back to where you are. Um, flathead will quite often follow your lure for a long time before it strikes. So don't assume when you're back at the boat about to wind in that there's not a big flatty waiting to pounce on it. Flathead can take, I've literally seen flathead come out of the water at the boat and, and snavel up a lure. So make sure you keep working it all the way back to where you are, whether you're in a boat or on the bank. Twitch, twitch, pause is the second one. The twitch, twitch is basically exactly the same, cast out as far as you can, get it away from you, let it hit the water, let it get down to the bottom. Once you know and you're satisfied that it's sitting on the bottom, rather than hop it off the bottom, you twitch it along the bottom. So twitch, twitch, or three twitches, and you, you make that little uh, that soft plastic dart through the water close to the bottom, and that vibration hopefully will alert any of the local flathead that are in and around that area. Yep. You do that all the way back to the boat. It's okay to mix them up. Generally speaking though, one will work better than others given your location. Try both. When you get a strike on one, stick with that one until you're having a bit of a lazy time or a quiet time and then maybe change it back to the other. Well, that's it for my little tutorial. Um, I will, as I said, include some fishing after the end of this. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button for me, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take a look at some of the action coming up right now.
little oh and that's what we're chasing just three times bigger We're on. Didn't even hit the bottom. A nice little flatty. Not quite the size we want, but it's getting better. Using a soft plastic. That's it there. Another nice little flatty. Oh. The better presented it is, the more chance you've got to catch them fish. And hopefully, we'll catch a few fish to yep. prove that. And Jordan's on right now. I am doing the hop on this one, but because it's so shallow. You can actually see the lure, it's so sh shallow. Oh, no way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. oh, he just let go. Oh, no. He runs to the beach. <laughs> Once you get swim, swim straight past it. Yep. Oh, no, come on. Whew. Beautiful. <laughs> that was a that was gonna be big. That was exciting. You don't? No. I do. I've never caught a big fish. Yep. Until today. Until today. <laughs> it's lovely. Lovely fish. Nice fish, Jordy. Look at that. That was a good fish, yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh, it's legal. Actually, it's quite a good fish. This is a good clip for dinner. I just measure him up and make sure he's legal, but my guess he's probably between 45 and 48. Oh, that was my first decent fish for the day. Gone like last week's pay. And I'm again. It's a good fish too. I haven't got a net here with me. I wasn't supposed to be on it. Let's see if I can get a look at it. Good flatty, a really good flatty. Every chance this flatty's got my last lure in his belly. Just let him tire himself out before I bring him up. Gonna have to lift him onto this deck. I reckon I'll lose him when I bring him up. I don't know if you can see him there, he's probably 50, 55. He's absolutely engulfed the lure, so he's killing my line.
I've only got five pound braid and six pound main line. Got him! That's a nice fish. Oh, he's destroyed my line. I was so lucky to get this guy in. Absolutely beautiful. Flatty there.